All right. While well, I'm thinking about it, I should get it out. And I apologize for the camera angle, but I'm driving. So that's what you're going to get, a little bit of double chin, whatever. Anyway. All right, so funny thing happened to me the other day. I woke up and I felt radically different. And I don't quite know why this all decided to change, why this all decided to happen, but it did. And um, with that, I started feeling this urge to start making very, very radical changes in my life. And um, everything from how I'm conducting my behavior, how my daily routine should go, what I should be eating, <laughs> the things I should be putting in my body, the things I should not be putting in my body. Like, just like rapid fire, man. Like, I, I need to do this. Like, now, 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 now. And also with that came this huge wave of needing to isolate to make these changes. Go, go! Sorry. <laughs> because I feel like when you begin this kind of journey, and I guess some people could say it's an awakening. I really, I don't know. I try to veer away from loose terms like that because I just feel like they get overused a lot and they don't really have much meaning anymore. But I guess it's something similar to that. Yeah. Yeah, man. I woke up and I'm like, this is your life. This is your life. These are the people you're circulating yourself with. You're feeding your brain nothing but trash. You're gossiping all the time. You're backbiting. You're just, you're doing all of this stuff that you know you're not supposed to be doing. You're doing all this stuff that you preach against. And here you are, you hypocrite. So then, it was after that, and I, I decided, let's do this. So, here I am, and, you know, I'm really, I'm not going to be surprised if I lose some folks in this process, and I'm not saying that as a negative, but it's like, when you start vibrating differently, when you start thinking differently, once you open your eyes, once you wake up, you can't go back to sleep. You can't. You absolutely can't. There's no way you can go back to the way you were, right? Once you know certain things, man, once you start seeing things a certain way, once you start demanding a certain expectation for your life, you're not going to make any sacrifices to compromise that, you know? And it, at the end of the day, you're not here to live for other people. And you're not here to please people. You're not here to make people happy, okay? You're here for your own journey, and you're here for yourself. And if you're not taking care of yourself, you're not good for anybody. If that's what you're meant to do, right? So, it's okay to get lonely. And it's okay to feel alone. Because you're going to. I do. But you know what feels better? Knowing that I didn't put myself out there in such a way to where I am losing my authenticity. To where I am representing myself in such a way that is disrespectful to my own persona. You dig? So, no more... Am I going to make those cuts, man? I'm sorry. I don't care for who or for anybody. I can't. I cannot. You know? I have this desire to elevate. I have this urge to make myself better. You know? And I'm going to do everything I can to make it happen. Because I have to. There's no turning back, man. Once you start making these decisions, once you start... Putting people on the back burner, and it's hard, man, because you got friends and family 
that are going to love bomb the hell out of you. You got friends and family that are going to doubt you. Say, no, man, I love you. You don't know what you're talking about. You know, this is just a what. No, 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 no. Fuck that. Fuck that. They're not really supporting you. They're becoming selfish because they're losing you. They're losing something that, in essence, kind of belonged to them. And that's their friendship, their family, whatever, man. But see, the thing is, is they're not looking out for your best interest. They're just mourning something that they're losing. Okay? The people that will want to see you succeed will understand. And you know what? They're going to go, fuck yeah. I want to elevate too. Let's do this. The ones that want to be stagnant and lazy, the ones who don't want to change will continue their shit behavior. They will continue their crap lifestyle. And they will continue to shit on you for your decisions. You can't look back on that. You have to progress and move forward. And that's where I'm at today. I'm not here to be angry anymore. And I'm not here to talk garbage on people anymore. I'm here just to focus, look forward, and make an impact in the world. Where I need to be making an impact in the world. You know? Think bigger, man. Think outside of your little shitty bubble. Think outside of your life, okay? And you're going to see a lot of different things. And some of it is not going to center around you, but you need to just get the hell in there. All right? Be bigger than yourself. And part of being bigger than yourself is doing better for yourself. You know? Anyway. That's it. I'm going horse. I don't want to talk anymore anyway. <laughs> I should really be focusing on driving. <laughs> but... You know, when it comes, it comes. When you got to talk about it, you got to talk about it. When you're thinking about it, it is what it is. All right. You guys take care. Do better for yourself. Don't be a lazy ass. Don't let yourself quit. Don't give yourself an excuse. Don't give yourself a fucking reason. You know, don't listen to that soothing, passive voice all the time coddling you, telling you you don't have to do better telling you that you don't have to get your ass out of bed and go do that workout or go read that book or whatever the fuck it is you need to improve your lifestyle. Don't fucking listen to that. You're not a baby anymore. Find your faults. Admit where you're wrong. Fix it. Fix your life. Anyway, peace.